this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. And today I will show you how to crochet the Christmas tree doily. And um, so this is uh, intermediate skill level. Um, there are some special stitches involved like front post double crochets and picots. And um, the doily has a total of 30 rounds. And using crochet thread size 10, uh, it measures about 14 and a half inches in diameter. And I'm very thankful to the designer of this toily uh, to uh, have this beautiful pattern to crochet for these uh, holidays. I'm using Aunt Lydia's crochet thread size 10 uh, so this is my main color it is called myrtle green and uh, the white color for the edge the crochet hook is size 1.75 millimeters and uh, let's get started and we start with a slip knot And chain 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And slip stitch in the beginning chain to make the ring. And the first round, chain 1. And now single crochet. 24 in the ring and finish with a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch and round two chain three and this counts as the first double crochet and now double crochet one in each stitch so total 24 and slip stitch in the beginning third chain to finish and now round three Start with three chains and that counts as double crochet. And the next stitch is going to be front post double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook from front to back to front again through the post of this next double crochet on previous round. Then yarn over again, pull up a loop pull through first two loops and pull through next two loops front post double crochet in the next stitch make a usual double crochet and then chain three and in the next stitch make a double crochet and again front post double crochet yarn over insert hook around the post of next stitch on previous round pull up a loop pull through first two loops and next two loops in the next stitch make a double crochet and chain three do one more double crochet front post double crochet and double crochet chain three and repeat all around and after last three chains slip stitch in a beginning third chain and round four is the same except here we chain five 
start with three chains it's the first double crochet next is the front post double crochet now we do it around the post of the front post stitch on previous round and then double crochet in the next double crochet and chain five one two three four five again double crochet then front post double crochet and double crochet chain five one two three four five and repeat and round five starts the same three chains and uh, front post double crochet and one double crochet and now we chain two then find the third chain here make a double crochet make another double crochet two here and chain two and then the same double crochet front double crochet and double crochet then chain two in the third chain make two double crochets and chain two and repeat and round six is almost the same chain three make a front post double crochet double crochet in the next then chain two and in the first double crochet here make two double crochets one two and then the second one make one so three here chain two double crochet front post double crochet chain two two double crochets in the next and one in the next chain two and repeat and round seven chain three front post double crochet double crochet chain two make two double crochets in the first then one in the next and again two in the next so now we have five here health is the same chain two double crochet front post then double crochet so repeat this and round eight chain three front post double crochet double crochet in the next chain two and here we're going to have seven double crochets so double crochet two in the first one in each next three two three and two in the last so that's seven here and then chain two and repeat round nine is a little different starts the same with 
three chains, front post, double crochet, and double crochet. Then two chains. Now double crochet one in the next stitch here. And then chain two. And now find the middle stitch here. So we have seven, one, two, three, fourth one. And in that stitch, we're going to double crochet four actually five so one two three four and five all in one stitch and then again chain two skip these next two stitches and double crochet in that last one here chain two do this part here double crochet front post and double crochet and start over chain two then one double crochet chain two five double crochet crochets chain two one double crochet chain two and you see the trees already forming here eight trees and now round 10 starts <clears throat> same three chains front post double crochet and chain two now double crochet one in this next stitch And now go straight to this next one here and make three double crochets in that one. One, two, and three. Then double crochet one in each next three. So one in here, one in the next, and one in the next. And in a last again make three one two and three and then again go straight to this stitch skip the chain and make one double crochet in here and so when you count you have 11 double crochets total in this part now then chain two double crochet then front post and double crochet chain two and then repeat this part for each three and round 11 three chains front post and double crochet then chain two in the next stitch make one double crochet in the next the second one make two one and two in the same one and then make next seven one two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then again in the next make two, one, and two. Then in the last make one. So when you count here, you have 13 double crochets. And then chain two and repeat double crochet front post 
and double crochet, chain two, and then again 13 double crochets. Round 12, chain three, front post, double crochet, chain two, And in the next, make two double crochets, one, two, and then make one in each next, 11, so one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. In the last, again, make two. One and two. When you count, you have now fifteen double crochets here. Chain two and double crochet. Front post, double crochet, chain two. Round 13. Chain three. Front post. And double crochet. Chain two. Now one double crochet in that first stitch. Chain two. Then skip two stitches, one, two, and make one in the next. Chain two. Again, skip two, one, two. In the next, make three. One, two, three. In the next, make one. And then in the next again three one two three chain two skip two one two one double crochet chain two skip two one two and one double crochet chain two and make double crochet, front post, and double crochet here. And then repeat this part. 14. Chain 3. Front post. And double crochet. Chain 2. In the next double crochet, make one double crochet. Now chain two. In the next stitch, again make one. And now skip two chains. And in here, the first one, make three. One two, three, and then make five, one, two, three, four, five, one stitch left here, and the last make three, one, two, and three and again skip two chains go straight into the next stitch and make one here then chain two make one in the next stitch chain two and now the 
double crochet front post double crochet here and then repeat so you have 13 here in the middle including these two 13 11 here and two here round 15 chain 3 front post double crochet chain 2 in the next double crochet make 1 then skip 2 chains and in the next stitch here make 2 1 2 and in the next stitch again make two one two now make nine double crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine in the next make two one two in the next also make two in here one two skip the chains and then this one make one and when you count you have 19 double crochets here from here to here chain two make double crochet front post and double crochet and repeat and 16 chain three front post double crochet chain two in the next stitch make two one and two now make 17 one in each one two three and in the last make two one and two so you have total of 21 double crochets here then chain two double crochet front post double crochet and repeat uh, next two rounds we're going to make the stems for the trees so uh, next 17 three chains front post double crochet chain two double crochet in the first stitch here chain two skip one and double crochet in the next chain two skip one double crochet in the next chain two skip one double crochet in the next so we need four of these here chain two skip one and now five double crochets that's the stem one two three four five chain two skip one double crochet in the next chain two skip one double crochet in the next chain two skip one double crochet in the next chain two skip one double crochet in the next 
chain two, double crochet, front post, double crochet, double crochet. So, and then repeat this. Round 18 is the same. Three chains, front post, double crochet. Two chains, now double crochet in the next. Two chains, double crochet in the next. Two chains. Double crochet, two chains, double crochet, two chains, and five double crochets here. One, two, three, four, five. Two chains, double crochet, two chains, double crochet, two chains, double crochet, two chains, and double crochet. So it repeats the previous round exactly. Uh, two chains. Double crochet, front post, and double crochet. And 19. Chain 3. Front post. And double crochet. Chain 2. Double crochet in the next, chain two, again double crochet in the next, chain two, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two, and here double crochet in the first chain two skip one double crochet in the next chain two skip one and double crochet in the next chain two double crochet in here chain two double crochet chain two double crochet chain two double crochet chain two and double crochet front post and double crochet and repeat and round 20 there's going to be more front post double crochet stitches here. So first we start the same, three chains, front post, double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the next, chain two, Double crochet in the next, chain two, double crochet in the next, so three of these, chain two, and now I'm going to double crochet in this chain space. Well, actually, probably better, I'm gonna double crochet in that second chain. And now I'm going to make the front post double crochet, just like the one here, around the post of the next stitch. And double crochet in the next chain. Okay. 
then chain two double crochet in the next chain two double crochet in the next chain two double crochet in the next again one two three chain two and again double crochet in that second chain then front post double crochet around next stitch and double crochet in the next chain then chain two double crochet in the next chain two double crochet in the next chain two double crochet chain two and here the same double crochet front post double crochet and repeat round 21 is uh, different now so it still starts with three chains and front post double crochet around next stitch but now we also have to double crochet in that same stitch so go behind this and find the loops here double crochet and then we have to do another front post around the same stitch right here so three stitches in that middle one and then double crochet in the next then chain two, double crochet in the next, chain two, double crochet in the next, that part is the same, chain two, double crochet in the next, chain two, and now here we have to do the same. So in a first stitch, double crochet. In the next, <clears throat> first make front post double crochet around this, then reach back here and make the regular double crochet, same stitch, and make another front post double crochet around the same post, and in the last stitch, the double crochet. Then chain two, double crochet in the next, chain two, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two, and again. So all these parts now the same, double crochet in the first, front post around the next, double crochet in the same stitch and one more front post the same and double crochet in the last and repeat round 22 Uh, chain three then front post double crochet around the post of this next front post and then double crochet in the next double crochet here in the middle chain one and double crochet in the next stitch, next space. Then front post double crochet around the next front post here. And double crochet in the next. 
chain two this part is the same double crochet chain two double crochet chain two double crochet chain two and here again double crochet in a first then front post double crochet around next front post stitch then double crochet in the next double crochet chain one double crochet in the same stitch front post double crochet around next front post here and double crochet in the last and again chain two double crochet chain two double crochet chain two double crochet chain two and repeat this And round 23 is the last with my green color. Chain three. And then front post, double crochet around next front post. And double crochet in the next stitch. Then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then do the same here, double crochet in the next stitch, front post around the next, and double crochet in the next. And now we're going to keep uh, making double crochets. In the first chain space here, we make one and double crochet in the stitch as well then in the next two spaces we double crochet twice so here make two one two and also double crochet in the next stitch next space also two one two and in the next stitch and then in this last space double crochet one then do this part again double crochet in the first stitch front post around the next double crochet in the next chain five one, two, three, four, five. Double crochet in here in the next. Front post. And double crochet. And again, start double crocheting here. Do one in the first space. One in this stitch. Two here. One two here one and one here and repeat and when finished with this round i'm going to cut off green thread and fasten off And then bring the white thread, make a slip knot, and join it with a single crochet stitch in that next front post double crochet. Here. And then chain 
three single crochet in that five chain space chain three and single crochet skip the first double crochet single crochet in the front post stitch chain three skip two stitches one two single crochet in the next chain three skip two one two single crochet in the next chain three skip two single crochet in the next chain three skip two and again this is the front post single crochet in that chain three and single crochet in five chain space and now repeat this all around chain three skip that double crochet and single crochet in the next and then chain three and skip two stitches two single crochet here and repeat and you see it's uh, quite curly here with this first round of white so uh, let's keep crocheting next is round 25 i finished 24 with a slip stitch in the first single crochet and i'm going to start the next round with the slip stitch in that first chain space then chain one and make a single crochet in the same space so now uh, next three rounds are going to be exactly the same so 25 26 and 27 and i'm going to chain three and single crochet in next space chain three single crochet next space and uh, keep doing the same all around for three rounds and each time you get to the end you just slip stitch in the first single crochet then slip stitch in the first space and start over with one chain one single crochet and this is how my doily looks uh, after 27 rounds it is uh, curling but as usual i will block my doily when it's finished um, and make it nice and flat to give it a better shape and let's continue with round 28 so again i'm going to slip stitch in that next chain space uh, chain three single crochet in the next space and now i'm going to chain seven two three four five six seven skip the next space and single crochet in the next here and then we're going to make four three chain spaces so one single crochet in the next as before two three and four and now again chain seven two three four five six 
seven skip next space and single crochet in the next and repeat this uh, all around make four three chain spaces and then seven chains skipping one space here and finishing this round so i forgot to start it with a chain and single crochet i just made three chains after the slip stitch uh, so it's okay but it's better to start it the same way each time so now i'm just going to slip stitch in that um let's see in this space here okay uh, round 29 we need to slip stitch in that next space and now as we should our chain and single crochet here and in that next chain uh, seven chain space we're going to make eight double crochets one two three four five six seven eight and now single crochet in that next three chain space and then we do three chains single crochet next three chains single crochet next three chains single crochet next so three three chain spaces here and then a big seven chain space again double crochet eight and so this is this repeats for the whole round in that big chain space make eight double crochets and then three three chain spaces between uh, and finish round 29 three chains and slip stitch in that beginning first single crochet stitch then the last round 30 slip stitch in that next double crochet uh, chain three one more so total chain four then double crochet in the next stitch so this first counts as uh, double crochet and one chain now chain one double crochet in the next chain one in the next stitch make two double crochets And now we're going to make three chain pico one two three and slip stitch in that stitch here below the upper loops of double crochet and in the next stitch make two double crochets one two chain one double crochet in the next chain one double crochet in the next chain one double crochet in the last and then single crochet in the next chain space and now go into the next space and make three single crochets in the space two three and then single crochet also in the next just one here and double crochet now in that first double crochet here chain one double crochet in the next chain one double crochet in the next chain one and then two double crochets in the next three chain pico two 
two double crochets in the next chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet single crochet in the next space and then in the next make three single crochets in the next make one and then repeat the double crochets and single crochets and i made the last single crochet here and now i'm going to just slip stitch in that beginning third chain and i'm done so let's fasten off So that last round definitely helped me uh, flatten the doily, but you see it's still kind of curly, so I will go now and block it. So I'm going to stretch it, making make it as flat as possible uh, on my blocking mats, uh, pin it, and I like to use some... Uh, uh, spray starch you'll give it a firm nice firm shape and then I'll let it uh, dry overnight and um, next I'll share some uh, pictures um, how I block my doily and here's my doily after the blocking so it definitely helps and i recommend to do it it is now nice and flat in firm shape and i'm happy with it so i hope you have fun making your own christmas tree doily uh, let me know if you have any questions happy holidays and happy crocheting <laughs>